Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a monster box set. I guess it's the biggest or the second biggest box set I ever got. It's from Madfish Records over in the UK. The same company did, did the most incredible box set, my favorite box set of all time, the Wishbone Ash Vintage Years box. Well, they did one on the band Caravan, and this has 36 CDs and a C DVD and a Blu-ray, everything uh, by Caravan. The uh, name of the box is Who Do You Think We Are? And I'm going to unbox it. So uh, before I start, again, if you're a new viewer uh, or if you're an existing viewer but you never hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. Help my channel to grow. Now, I got into Caravan decades ago when I found this out in the wild, and this is a two-CD set called Canterbury Tales, The Best of Caravan. I was not familiar with any of their songs, but this was a great collection of two on two CDs, uh, you know, the best of their first one, two, three, four, their first seven albums, their most famous albums uh, where they made their legacy. I fell in love with with this mini box set. I just thought it was great. I still play it to this day. But they weren't the kind of band that I felt like I needed to get all their albums. And second of all, it is not easy in the United States to find a lot of their uh, stuff, um, especially their latter-day stuff. So when Madfish put this out, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. Um, so who is Caravan? Well, most people would admit, and this is from Classic Rock Magazine a while back, they were the leading exponents of a progressive, pro, they're a progressive rock band, but it, a lot of people dub it the Canterbury scene, Canterbury type progressive rock. And most people would admit Caravan is the best of that, uh, the most popular. Uh, there's uh, Essential Records they have in the land of gray and pink, their most famous album, and um, for girls who pl grow plump in the night. But, you know, who else was in the Canterbury scene? Well, you know, Soft Machine, Hatfield in the North, Steve Hillage, I'm a big fan of his. Um, you know, Matching Mole, National Health, Egg, Kevin Ayers. You get the idea. Caravan, most people would agree, were the leading band of that uh, subgenre of progressive rock. They're kind of jazzy, uh, certainly progressive, but they're melodic. They're relatively easy to listen to it's nothing like emerson lake and palmer where it's difficult and uh you know they have interesting time signatures but it's still melodic they have almost a soft canterbury feel um i would recommend trying to find this thing a uh, best of and uh sample them see if you like them anyway let's unbox this monster box set i got it on amazon and this is a $400 box set, by the way, but I waited and waited and waited, and I got a really good deal on it. But, of course, uh, thank you, Amazon, for shipping it without packaging. And as you can see, the box is all damaged in the corners. It's really, really heavy. I don't know. This thing must weigh at least 10 pounds. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to ship it back. It's worth it uh, just to get it all, and I don't feel like shipping it back and getting another one. But, man, it came in a big box without padding. And they fucked it up. Anyway, this is the box. Uh, Caravan. Who do you think we are? And I'm going to try to uh, lift the box up here. And we'll go through it. And I'm going to put this down. Maybe I'll put it like that. Maybe we'll put it like that. All right. That'll work. Oh, so let's see what we got in here. And uh, at some point, I'll turn it over. So you get an autograph picture, Pi Hastings, Richard Sinclair, and that must be Dave Sinclair. Uh, so autograph by three of the four members. Caravan has had uh, changing lineups over the years. Pi Hastings, um, Richard Sinclair, Dave Sinclair, the main guy, certainly Pi Hastings. Um, Lots of bobs and bits, as they would say. Uh, this looks like a reproduction of, uh, you know, a press uh, thing from 1973. I love they reproduce. It looks like it's handwritten. Uh, yeah, this is a press thing about all the different uh, albums up to that point and the members of the band and their history. 
And in that car car caravan, in that Canterbury scene, there's a lot of incestuousness. Uh, musicians go from one band, and they go to another band, and they go to another band. Um, so you kind of see that. And Caravan's got tons of different lineups. But uh, definitely Pie Hastings, Dave Sinclair, Richard Sinclair, the main guys. So that's a kind of a cool little uh, reproduction. Uh, oh, here's another one. The... <laughs> Tony Brands, Brainsby Publicity, the Caravan Equipment List. And we'll keep going. I don't want this video to be too long because this box is loaded. Now, this is clever. So here's another press pack. And this has a belly band that says Caravan Press Pack. I don't want to damage this. But this is all... Oh, uh, you know, about for Girls Who Grow Plump in the Night, one of their famous albums, an album that I love. Handwritten notes in here. Equipment lists. More equipment lists. Set lists. Who's in the band. Reproduction of handwritten notes. Melody Maker band file. Pretty cool. Um, you can see like the detail that goes in that Madfish does. Oh, so look at this. This is a special fanzine of Caravan. Glossy, four color. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, this looks like uh, Where But For Caravan Would I Be published in 2021. And this is an interview with the different guys in the band at that time. And this is really cool. Reproduction of the interviews. Full glossy. You can see how beautiful this is. Uh, photos. They're talking about the album at that time, Unauthorized Breakfast Item. That's one of their albums. Another long interview with Dave Sinclair. Really long interviews. This is really cool. Uh, beautifully done. All, all interviews with all the different members of bands from different years. John Giddings from 2006. And uh, I guess this was a fanzine that they had, and it shows you. So this is a, a compilation, I guess, of uh, lots of the stuff from their fanzine. Very cool and thick. A lot of pages on this thing. 20-something uh, pages. So that's really nice. And here's another book in here. Uh, the back page, Blind Dog at St. Dustin's, one of their albums. This, this must be a reproduction of the tour program. In fact, it is. So here's a reproduction of the tour program from Blind Dog at St. Dustin's. Wow, this is really cool. I love those ads of the Caravan Collection. You know, make sure they're in your collection. Decca Records. This is a beauty. Uh, Caravan 1976, it looks like. So another glossy, this one black and white, but beautifully done. This is Rotosound Strings, and this is a reproduction of a tour program. Really cool. Next up, oh, we got a poster here. Let's open this up. And this is, wow, how cool is this? I think that says Ool Tech, Saturday, May 23rd. <laughs> Look at that. Can you make that out? Caravan, and who's opening? Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath opening up for Caravan. That's interesting. Pretty cool. So it is a reproduction poster from back in the day when Black Sabbath apparently was opening up for Caravan. Let me uh, pull this up. That goes there. Not enough. Here is another poster. Wow, this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. This one opens up this way. In concert. It's a college. Scripture College. Um, boy, this is a big one. I don't want to damage this one. Caravan. In concert with Tiernanog at Usher Hall. Pretty cool. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but that's a that's a big poster right there. Beautiful. On thick 
you know, post the stock too. They did a really, really good job. All right, we will follow that over there. We'll pile this up. Here's another thing. Oh, now this is really cool. I mentioned they have a lot of different lined ups, and it's kind of incestuous. So there's the Caravan Family Tree, uh, 1968 to 2021. And, uh, you know, Pete Frame was real famous for doing these, and maybe he did this. I think he did. Uh, pretty cool. So, uh, beautiful color, and in each of those leaves is a different uh, musician. And it's got the dates going up and who's in the, the band at that time. That's really nicely done. Uh, Pete Frame and those uh, lineups. What else we got? This is cool. Caravan's Trip Down Memory Lane. Is uh, Memory Lane based on one of their songs? Yeah, this is basically the the so-called Canterbury scene, um, and this is reminiscent of one of their albums, which you'll see. Um, but this is really cool, and it shows you the different locations. I guess that Caravan made their way. So uh, beautifully done. This is some box set. This, this is like the Wishbone X box set. All right, let's keep going. Now, if that wasn't enough, here's part of the 10 pounds. This is a really heavy, beautiful, hard-covered book. Love the artwork. I probably would have made this cover as opposed to that, but uh, that would have been me. This I'm really not going to be able to go through too much for you, but uh, boy, this is this is a piece of work here. So this is gorgeous, all glossy. Uh, I, really, I can be able to see it. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Full story of Caravan from when they're first starting out. And literally, uh, I guess you can kind of see it. It goes album by album. Stuff from the studio, pictures, <laughs> albums. Even shows you what the uh, the vinyl labels look like. There's their first album, and love the press clippings. Big fan of that. Goes through their story, poster art, glossy photos, caravan spelt with a K, blossom toes opening up, um, press photos, and then it goes to their next album, gig posters. Another album, if I could do it all over again, I'd do it all over you. We'll talk about Caravan. Some of their album titles pretty funny. Um, Clippings in the Land of Gray and Pink, their most famous album. And uh, posters, ticket stubs, Waterloo Lily, the inside gatefold of Waterloo Lily. I guess you could see this, right? This is coming out. Um, more posters, Nazareth opening up for Caravan. So, you know, Caravan, pretty uh, major band for a bunch of years. For Girls Who Grow Plumpin' and I love that album. Um, there was a different album cover that. They show the gatefolds. There it is. That's the original album cover that got banned. I uh, had a little bit of nudity on there. Uh, reviews in the newspaper. Chart positions. Ads. Photos. This is a monster book, as you can see. This is just great. I mean, this is almost like the price of the worth the price of admission right here. I mean, we're well, ever going to get a book on Caravan, uh, and this is a full book. So this is going album by album, covers, clippings, ticket stubs, interviews, backstage passes. Yeah, pretty much everything you could want. And then it goes album by album at the back. Yeah, that's a masterpiece. Kind of like the Wishbone Ash. They just do it right, uh, Mad, Madfish. Wow. Amazing. They, they don't even get like nominated for a Grammy. I mean, think about what wins a Grammy for re reissues and look at this. I mean, it's this is like uh, ridiculous. 
All right, in here are the albums, and we'll go through them pretty quick. Well, there's a lot. So here's the first one, and what you could see is each individual album reproduced as if it's vinyl, and it actually has the titles, which is really nice so you can see that. They really reproduced the vinyl albums on CD with the gatefolds. So here's their first album. Now each of these is loaded with bonus tracks. Tons. So uh, this one, for instance, has both the mono and the stereo on the same CD. Um, we'll just uh, start piling them up. Here's uh, the second one. If I could do it all over again, I'd do it all over you. Yeah, Caravan's got a sense of humor. Um, and that's that. And then there it is. And you can see, loaded with bonus tracks. Uh, the CDs, I'm not going to take each one out, we'll be here forever, but the CD is beautifully done. So each CD matches the graphics. Uh, third album, the most famous in the land of gray and pink. And there's the gatefold and beautiful artwork, as you can see. And if I decided to take the CD out, which I guess I will, yep, no surprise, it matches the artwork. So beautiful. Let's keep going. Waterloo Lily. You already got a quick glance of the gatefold. You know, so they don't take themselves overly seriously, Caravan, as you can see. Um, I'm not going to get into their individual song titles, but, you know, the dog, the dog, he's at it again. They just have like, you know, they, they're just quirky. Really quirky. Here's for Girls Who Go Plump in a Night. Probably my favorite Caravan album I've had. Um... So they put clothes on her on the official release. And as you can see, loaded with bonus tracks on each disc. And there's the CD and matches. So they just went to town on this box set. This is just so beautifully done. Uh, I already have this. This made one of my uh, favorite live records, I think, at one point. Caravan and New Symphonia. And this is Caravan with an orchestra. A great album. Great live record. Uh... Love the title of this one, Cunning Stunts. Yeah, uh, you get the idea? Be careful how you say this fast. Cunning Stunts. Kind of switch to C and E. Uh, yes, you'll, you'll get it. Uh, but this is a really good record. I like this one a lot. Um, now we're going to start getting into some live ones. Uh, another live one, Live at the Fairfield Halls in 1974. Great graphics. Um Let's get that over there. Uh, Blind Dog at St. Dunstan's. I have this already. This is a real good one. This is a, I was going to say a latter day one. We're kind of now getting past their classic period. This would be more like their classic period. And then uh, they just kept going. I don't know. Uh, this is Surprise Supplies. This is a live one. So this box has all of their studio albums and a ton of uh, live stuff that um, was never released. So you get in one box, monstrous everything by Caravan. Here's an album called Better By Far. And the gatefold. And it looks like that. I am not familiar with all of these albums. Here's one called Caravan, the album. And it looks like that. And this is uh, different lineups. Uh, see the CD coming out. Yeah, so again, the, this, the artwork of the CDs. They didn't miss around. They all uh, match. This is one called Back to Front Caravan. So as you can see, they have a huge discography, and it's all in here. Cool Water, Latter Day Album. Looks like that. And the Battle of Hastings. You get it? Pie Hastings. And other guys who go in and out of the band. All Over You, newly recorded classic caravan favorites. Um, we'll see how that is. Typically not a fan of when bands go back and re-record their stuff, but sometimes it'll work. I know U2's going to put out a four CD set, and I'm actually really looking forward to that. Live from the Astoria. And this is from this box set. This is not stuff that was ever released. The idea is just to... Uh, you know, give you everything. 
every studio stuff and tons of live stuff that was never released. This is all over you too. And this is newly recorded versions of Classic Caravan Part 2. And the unauthorized breakfast item. Just kind of a cool caravanish cover. <laughs> what is that? A big fish? Being served a big fish. I guess in a fish and chips type place. Uh, and again, this actually has a double, this is a double CD. So it's got a whole bunch of extra stuff on the second disc. Pretty cool. Now you think we're done? We're not done. There's still tons more. This box is absolutely immense. And uh, live at Shepherd's Bush Empire, October 8th of 2011. And somebody, this is a double CD. And we'll start piling these up. And this is an album called Paradise Filter. Interesting cover. Maybe a bit more mature, I guess you would say, with the album graphics on this one. And live in Holland in 1972. Interesting. It's a couple of tracks. The Love in Your Eye for Richard does a really long extended tracks. You know, they're melodic, jazzy, easy on the ears. The, you could definitely get into them. But you got to like progressive rock because they could jam out for sure. A Hunting We Shall Go, live in 1974, I think it said. So you could see... Uh, I mean, this whole CD has only got three songs on it, so this is real jamming on this one. And another one, Nottingham Polytechnic, December 5th of 1975. So they really going through their tapes. Uh, this is from Cunning Stunts, which you got to love that artwork right there with everybody got it painted on their asses. Um, just a, a really good band. I'm... Looking forward to listening to this stuff, but it'll take me a whole year easy to get through this thing. Um, here's another live one. This is another two CD set, live at the Marquee. Like how they did that. There's uh, the ticket stuff and uh, showing upcoming shows there. Are we done? No, there's still more. How much caravan could there be? A lot. Here's a live show from 1990. So now we're getting... Latter day stuff and uh, playing this looks like it's in a relatively small club, and this is two CDs. Cool, running out of space. Here's another one from 1999 in Norfolk, and again, now we're starting to get uh, let's say their audience at this time is a little bit more select, as they would say in Spinal Tap. Here's a two CD set. There you go. The dog, the dog, he's at it again. Memory Lane, Hugh, Head Loss. These are great songs, but uh, you know it's Caravan just by the titling. And we're getting close, guys. Here's another one. East Sussex, November 11, 2018. Another two CD live set. So 2018, this might be the most recent thing on here. And if that's not enough, well, they give you a DVD of Life from the Marquee in 1971, another show in 1972, from Bataclan in Paris in 73, and French TV in 1981. So this is really cool. Video footage on DVD of Caravan from four different shows. That's exciting. You don't know, see Caravan on DVD in their golden age. And to top it all off, check this out. This is a Blu-ray of In the Land of Gray and Pink. And this is a 5.1 surround sound by the master, Stephen Wilson. So you know Caravan's a real deal if Stephen Wilson is remixing, you know, remastering and remixing them for stereo and 5.1 digital Atmos sound. Um, you know, he does everybody, King Crimson, Jethro Tull, you know, everybody he's doing, and he did Caravan as well.
So this is really cool to have. Um, this Maybe this is only available in a box set. So there you have it, the unboxing of Caravan. Who do you think we are? Um, a monster box set. How many is this? This is 35 CDs and a DVD and a Blu-ray on top of that. Uh, I think there's still some available on um, Amazon where I got it. Uh, the list price is close to $400. I held out and I got it for two and change. Um, but um, and then you get the hardback book and all this other stuff there's a lot of cool stuff to check out so caravan um, hope you enjoyed this unboxing and um, please hit subscribe please check out my other videos stay safe stay healthy and thanks for tuning in to the Alan Rosenberg show I will see you on the next video hope you enjoyed